Listen, if you've ever wanted to cook like your favorite restaurant, here's your chance. It's one of our faves, Henley in Midtown. There's a cooking class on Saturday, September the 8th. You get to hang out in the chef's kitchen, wine all around. Wine. You'll be with Chef Daniel yes. in good hands. And you partnered up with Bear Creek Farms. Bear Creek Farms. Uh, Leanne Cherry, she's going to be hanging out with me that day. Uh, they got a farm. They do beef and pig and goat downtown. Uh, down in uh, Thompson Station. It's amazing. Oh, uh, that's so incredible. Oh, okay, yeah. now since we're talking about the event, we've got some pictures from Henley because uh -oh. your space is pretty incredible. It oh, is just. Oh, look how gorgeous. Oh, it's this just is Carol's a great hang. vibe. Like, it's if you can't, beautiful. If you want to find Carol Sullivan in her natural habitat, it's in Henley. <laughs> <laughs> this is where my dreams come true. It's Everything kind of nice. There. Well, and your chef space is beautiful. So yeah. I can see how that makes a natural. Um, sort of transfer yeah. to yeah, the doing kitchen's a class beautiful. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it took a minute for me to say it, but <laughs> you knew what I was thinking. Okay, we're doing beef tartare because we're going to have a little dinner party. That's what the first class is going to be about. So we're going okay. to do a little pork roast, a little beef tartare, some accoutrement, lots of wine. That's what matters most. Um, so for the beef tartare, we have. I'm going to let you mix today. Okay. We have a 60 day dry aged top round. Wow. Into How that. Yeah, I was going to say, how do you select? Because I think that's probably the most important thing with this, right? Is yeah. to make sure that you get quality the quality meat. Cup. Yeah. Yeah. So I use Top Round because it's lean, it has little fat, no gristle, okay. and it's got great flavor. Okay. Okay. And I use everything from Bear Creek for beef and pork at the restaurant. Perfect. Um, because we all know good ingredients. That's makes that huge makes difference. everything. It's, it's right? everything. Huge it's difference. everything. A little salt. Okay. A little it. salt. Simple. Salt, okay. pepper. Okay. And we're going to take a little bit of. Egg, onion, I was wondering. Chive, just dump? Half of it. Half? Half. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Sorry, I like it. You're Look a high, highly trained professional chef. My line cooks aren't that fast. <laughs> I like it. Touch Get of that. Done. Just a touch. All right. What is that? There we Dijon? go. Dijon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little splash of Worcester sauce. Ooh. If you can spell it, you're hired. Yeah. <laughs> a touch of house made fermented hot sauce. Ooh, nice. Stop. You make your own hot sauce. Yeah, you. we do a bunch of stuff He's like, like listen, that. Listen, Carol, come on now. Yeah, we're professional. And then capers. Capers? Yeah, capers are oh. add a little punch of saltiness, a yeah. little funkiness. I'm digging um, that. <laughs> funkiness. Funkiness. It's and always then, what you're looking in your food. Kind you know, you know, that's like the whole trend. Everyone wants something a little funk, a little sour. There you go. It's like some olive oil in there. A little olive oil from Georgia. Nice. Okay. That's it. I feel like we're mixed. You're done. That's it. That's it. Okay. And you've got this great mold over here. Mold it up. Mold okay. it up. Okay. We're doing it. She's gonna, you, got, you got it? I don't know. So Do the I? best thing about, yeah, best oh. thing about beef tartare at home yes. is it's easy to find good beef, especially if you have a farmer's market, which we have two great here in Nashville. Um, but everything that goes in it, that's plenty, um, Squish it. is always in your pantry. Oh. Everything. Well, you like even every man fridge has <laughs> mustard and hot sauce and Worcestershire sauce and eggs. You yeah, know what? You're true. right, but they don't that have what you're about to put on top of this. Okay, which is all right. Tell us. Pretty incredible. You're upping the game. I'm upping it twice. You just didn't oh. see. So what? we're taking that little black garlic aioli, which is going to be a fermented garlic. Um, garlic aioli. Drizzle that over top. Wait, wait, what? Well, what? Just, just back up. Black garlic aioli. Yeah. Fermented. fermented. How did that mushrooms. happen? How, what do you mean? Mushrooms? What, are you doing? what about mushrooms? I didn't didn't, you mushrooms. didn't? No. What did you say? Garlic. Oh, fermented garlic. garlic. I'm sorry. Yeah, so you take garlic and you hold it at a certain temperature for about three weeks and it turns black. What? Yep. And it turns to the sweet, caramely, it almost tastes like Worcestershire sauce on steroids. You have some crazy experiments going in your I kitchen, don't you? I kind of love you? that. All right, I'm now excited. what is this topping? Uh, this is going to be salsify, so it's always nice with a little crunch and texture in there. You have to tell us what that is yeah, because we is both that? were completely so lost. So salsify is oyster root. Um, you can find it in any like Whole Foods or any organic store. Okay. It's a black root. We peel it, we peel it in a thin strips and we fry it. It looks like this big bird's nest. And we crunch it up and it adds a lot of texture, okay. which is really nice. Ooh. It smells amazing. I just couldn't place what it was. I love it. Mm. I mean, it there. smells. That looks really pretty. It smells like I could eat this with Carol, a spoon. Carol, we did good. You Look did great. Y'all are hired. Well, Amazing. What's yeah, up? and then you'd put us in there and go. Yeah, With the employee shortage, fired. I think I could use both. Actually, of actually, you know what? The way it is in Nashville, I believe it. We're doing this. Okay. I'm so this is this. one of the first things you're going to learn if you come to the cooking class. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to do the beef tartare. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually show them how to break down the beef itself and how to pick it. Mm. Um, Are you kidding me? Wow. That's delicious. It's like yeah, it's like meatloaf on steroids. Mm. Okay. It's nothing like meatloaf. No. <laughs> It's a thousand I thousand times one of the better. best things I've had in a really, really, really long time. Agreed. Agreed. 
Ooh, cool. and the capers. Ooh, I just got See? a caper. See, right? Yes. It's a little something. I love that. Go to the cooking class. Ow, okay. Chef in the Farmer cooking class on Sunday, September the 8th. It runs from 11.30 to 1.30. Explore, am I saying that? ExploreTalk.com. TalkTickets.com. Oh, oh, got it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay. There you go. All right. All right. Call Henley. Yeah, call Henley. Just call me. Go. Go see him. <laughs>